It's been four years since the global glass industry came together in Dusseldorf, Germany. Now, finally, we are back. Ellen Rogers and we're so excited to be here in the halls of Messe Dusseldorf. There is so much to see from high-tech robotics and fabrication equipment to amazing displays of glass that leave you saying wow. This week will give you an all-encompassing look at all things glass tech starting with machinery. For many U.S. visitors it's the equipment that brings them to the show and this year more than ever automation is the big demand. Here's a look at how companies have evolved their equipment to meet this need. The European market is uh, always being very, uh, let's say, demanding. And uh, when you've got supply chain issues and whatnot going on, it can really throw a wrench in the machine, especially with the uh, delivery times also. It definitely gave us um, an opportunity, especially like with our new vertical, to do a whole lot more testing than we, than we would normally be able to do. So we have the Epsos here. Uh, the Epsos is our brand new, fully uh, full CNC work center uh, vertical. It is uh, it's a double-headed machine which uh, uses two heads to grind and polish the glass. So the longs, uh, so the top and the bottom, are being done at the same time. So you gain 25, at least 25 percent more efficiency. But the longer and skinnier the piece is, the the quicker you can produce it. Our lead times were a little extended. However, we were, over to, we were able to overcome that by sourcing components in the U.S. So we kept rolling right along through the pandemic period. So we brought the new Denver Surface and the Denver Elite. So you take a piece of glass and we can do the edge work here. And the entire process from milling, drilling, and edge work is six minutes from start to finish. We could put a robot in front of this, for example, load it, let it go through the process, and unload it. So this machine, this entire process, is down to a one-person operation, which is really what we hear from fabricators throughout the U.S. They're just staffing issues left and right. Well, during the past four years, we, we looked upon it as an opportunity. So what we did, we spent a lot of time training our field sales team as well as our inside sales reps. Um, and that, I, I tell you what, coming out of the pandemic, I feel we've got the strongest sales team in the glass industry. Well, we've been very pro proactive with our Italian vendors to build our stock during that time frame because nobody had a playbook for the pandemic, right? So we took, took that time to increase our inventories um, just to make sure we had the product in stock. And we knew the business would come back, which it has, and our inventory position has been the strongest that it's ever been. Along with automation, robotics have also become an important focus. La Tawada showed us a new development that put its robotic system on the move. Yeah, it's been a four years since Glass Tech, and over that time, it's been a nice opportunity to come up with new designs, new software, uh, to be able to present to customers, make everything easier on them. This one here is a single 13 spindle machine with a, a robotic on a, the track that takes care of running all four sides of the glass uh, all by itself through barcode, uh, running at a very high speed to accommodate the, the meters that you need to get out of an everyday uh, procedure of production. You know, again, one of the hardest things is nowadays is people. You know, you just need a person to to bring a rack in. The robot runs all the glass by itself. When it comes down here for the washer, the operator actually has a little pager and he can be anywhere in a plant that he wants. It sends him notification that glass is coming out for him to unload and it's finished. He can put the glass in the machine and walk away. Four years gives companies a lot of time to make changes, including acquisitions. In 2019, Glaston acquired by Stronic, and this year is the first time the company's exhibited in a combined booth. We stopped by to check out the booth and to learn more about some other trends and developments. I think uh, the big event, of course, what has happened in between is that uh, we used to be still two separate companies, Stronic and Glaston, back in 2018. Now. Uh, under one booth, Glaston. So 
not just being the heat treatment company anymore, but uh, going into IG and automotive uh, products as well. So expanding the uh, portfolio. If we take uh, GPS, for example, uh, one of the big benefits with that is the level of automation. So basically we have a spacer in a tank instead of using the uh, traditional spacer type. So probably the uh, customers that we are seeing at the moment uh, most are the uh, residential, may that be IG or heat treatment customers. So getting more capacity, but at the same time increasing the level of automation. Now, Ellen, uh, US Class Magazine has been telling us for the fa past five years that the biggest problem what the class process are having is the lack of skill, skilled workforce. So automation is really our, our concern. And if we think of what, how are we doing that, we are introducing here a feature called Autopilot. So basically it, it reduces the, uh, the skills needed for the tempering line operator. So now it's much easier for uh, our customers to take almost a new person, just operate the equipment and, and then off you go. Now, the second thing we have focused a lot in lamination. Uh, we've been fortunate enough to uh, actually triple our lamination business uh, during the last three years. And we have in introduced now here a feature that helps our customers to run structural interlayers which is increasing also a lot at the moment. So energy efficiency and, and then running uh, with less skillful, uh, if I say like that, uh, manpower. Uh, those are the main things in heat treatment at the moment. BSA is also here with an expansive booth that now includes multiple brands, including Intermac, Forvec and Muvetro. We talked with Carrie Breyer to learn more about the company's new identity and the equipment. BSE um, management is the kind of management that wants to put the profits back into the company. So we've invested in purchasing two additional companies. One of them is Forvet. So Forvet offers high-tech products that no other company manufactures. The other one is Movitro. And Movitro manufactures glass storage and handling equipment. In the past, customers would have to, to purchase the different types of equipment independently from each other, and then hopefully the suppliers would integrate. Now the customer doesn't have to worry about that at all. The customer can, can just come to us and we do the complete integration. So this is our CombiFlex machine. The CombiFlex is a combination of the Chiara, which is a grinding machine, and the Francesca, which is a drilling and milling machine. Okay, then we have a washing machine inside it as well. So like I said, once the glass comes in on the infeed conveyor and it exits the machine, then the glass is completely finished in one machine cycle. What the Sorter Flex does is two things. It takes the glass that's already come from the CombiFlex and we put it in a storage capacity uh, in preparation for the, the glass going to a tempering oven. We optimize the loading of the tempering oven. Now it's done by computer so that we achieve a much higher yield into the tempering oven for us. Jumbo glass continues to be in big demand and that calls for big fabrication equipment. Mappy has developed its MTH furnace that allows fabricators to process increasingly larger sizes. We know that uh, here we will have a lot of people come in um, that we were missing in the four years. The appointment here is mainly presenting the new machine that we develop uh, that is the MTH and um, that is uh, the big size machine so it starts from 107 and to 126 in the width and then it can be, have a link that it's around 206 meters or 8 meters depending because as always we follow the, the needs of our customers. So lately, it seems that everyone is looking for bigger sizes. The MTH is an upgrade machine comparing to what we have with the same principle, but we really can reach uh, uh, less power consumption. We really did magnific things to have that kind of result. We have just begun to show you all things glass tech, from the machinery, the companies, and of course, the glass. Stay tuned to USGNN all this week and follow us on social media. If you're here, stop by and see us in Hall 13, Stand E70, or 
Find us one night this week in the Altstadt. Thanks for watching.